Bill State was uh, very important in my life. If it wasn't for Bill and Wimpy Lasser, I, I don't think I'd have gone into the pool business. And uh, I mean that. And the first tournament I ever went to in my life was in February of 72 at Jack and Jill's. I had just gone into business four months prior in September of 71. And uh, I remember driving up to Arlington four hours and arriving at four in the morning and walking downstairs to the Jack and Jill Q Club and seeing 28 tables full and full of pool players that I've never seen in my life because I had just gone into business. And that, that's when uh, uh, tournament pool began in my life. And now uh, this year will be my 34th US Open, 34th annual US Open. And every, every year when I'd see your dad at the tournament, I would always say, it's all your fault <laughs> to him. And uh, he would he would chuckle. Mm -hmm. he, he, he laughed about that. But it was, I used to say, no, it's all your fault. You're the one that started. And I'd always introduce your dad every year that he was there, every year. And uh, everyone knew Bill, of course, but uh, um, Shark Man, he made the right games. Uh, in 1988, I went to Myrtle Beach to play golf with 28 guys, my first golf trip um, 20 years ago. And uh, we left Virginia Beach and we all drove there. And we were playing at one of the courses there, the Pearl, one of the golf courses at, uh, at uh, Myrtle Beach. And I knew that your dad, Bill, had lived there, but I didn't know, you know, um, any more than that. Um, and I'm, I'm at the driving range at this course with 27 other guys. And then I'm walking across the street to the clubhouse. And, I, and all of a sudden, I see a golf cart coming to, at me um, with someone in it with a cap down low, not knowing who it was. And I'm walking across the uh, little road from the driving range to the uh, clubhouse. And I see a wild man in a golf cart, not knowing who he is, because his hat was out, barreling at me. And just before he ran me over, which he didn't, thank God, uh, he, you know, he stopped real fast and lifted up his hat, and it was your dad. Oh, cute. Yep. I, He's I'm always going, a crazy I'm character. Going, what are you doing? You're trying to kill me. He laughed. <laughs> and then um, and, uh, 10 years later, I went back to Myrtle Beach and uh, hung out with your dad and your mom at your house. And he showed me, uh, we had a bite to eat, we had a few drinks. They showed me all these wonderful pool tapes they had of the Japanese pool players and the trick shots that you know he's had in his library. And we played a few games of pool at the house. And, uh, um, you know, we had a nice conversation and a nice day. And we went to the dunes and played golf. Wonderful time. So your dad was quite an entertainer as well. Class act. The Miz. The Miz, the master. Uh, again, unfortunately, I was at his funeral too. But uh, I think of Steve every day, every day, every single day, because uh, as important as Bill in my life, Steve was as well. And uh, uh, I remember. Uh, as I just mentioned, uh, Steve lost a match playing pool at Q Masters. And um, after he was the spokesperson for uh, Miller White, and uh, he blamed me for losing his match because I was sitting there watching him play, drinking a Mikola, and uh, which is bug yeah, and, yeah. and he actually blamed me in a, in a comical way that he lost. You know, pool players never lose, it's always something else. And they blame, he goes, I can't believe you're drinking a Budweiser, a Michelob in front of me. I, I couldn't concentrate. I went, are you serious? He said, yeah, I'm serious. But I don't know if he was. <laughs> Steve was just a very humorous man. Yeah, sort of was. like your dad. Your dad was pretty funny too. Yeah. Very, uh, both of them had great sense of humor. Both of them.